here Nate, it's Dustin again with my home kid home and in this video we'll be continuing with our series on automations this time looking at the location based when people leave automation so last week we took a look at when people arrive now we'll be looking at when people leave so if you find the content useful please like share subscribe without further ado let's go so from the automations tab, we'll tap the plus button on the top right. And then we'll choose the people leave option, our second option there. And as we can see by default, anyone leaves is checked. But if we tap the I with the circle, we can see the different people that we have. And if we tap on one, it removes that person from the automation. If we tap on the other, it removes that person from the automation. And if we tap on the last person leaves, we basically get the same options if we tap the I with the circle. So we can select and unselect and it gives us basically the same options to choose the individual. But for now, we'll choose the anyone leaves option. Now looking at our location settings, of course we can choose the home, but alternatively we can choose the location. So this can be any location as long as you type in the address. And if you do choose an alternate location, you can adjust the settings of the geofence. So you can choose the geofence radius. Now one thing that we'll want to keep in mind is that if we choose a location other than the home that we'll need to set up the automation from the person's device, or else we are not able to actually include that person in the automation as you can see here so we'll tap continue and now we'll move on to our time condition so if we tap on time by default we have any time selected however we can tap on during the day and this gives us the option of adjusting it based on sunrise and sunset, either 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, an hour before or after sunrise and sunset. This is really useful for making those micro adjustments as you're leaving your location. We can also do the same exact thing for at night as well. Now, if you're more inclined to set a specific window for when you'd like this automation to happen, we can choose specific times and choose whatever time window we would like that to occur during. But for now, we'll go ahead and choose any time and tapping next, we come to our scene and accessory selection. Now we can choose one scene or we can choose multiple scenes if that's something that we'd like to do, which is a nice little feature and we can also choose a combination of a scene and accessories as well so if we scroll down to the bottom we can choose one or more accessories or we can unchoose them and for now we'll just go ahead and leave it with the leave home scene there and as we can see here is our finalized automation when anyone leaves home at any time the leave home scene will be triggered now we can test this automation if we would like but doing so will only run the scene or accessories that we've selected what we'll need to do to really test it is to well leave the location check our phone to see if our scene has in fact run Tapping done on the top right brings us back to our automation screen and as we can see there is our automation and by tapping on it we can review all of our settings for it so we can see that we can enable it and disable it if we ever want to turn the automation off. We can tap on the win section and adjust all of the conditions there. We can also tap on our scene. Interestingly enough, we can long press on the scene and we can adjust the actions of the accessories in the scene, but we can't add or remove accessories, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, so if we tap done, we'll go ahead and go back and we can test the automation again, or we can select accessories and scenes that we would maybe want to add to the automation in the future. And as always, we can delete the automation if we would like. This one I actually want to keep, so we won't do anything there. So we'll tap done, it gets sent to the cloud, and we're good to go. Alternatively, you can swipe left and remove an automation as well if you want to get rid of one quickly. 
So just like the when people arrive automations, when people leave automations are really useful as well. So for example, when both my wife and I leave the house, the house knows that we're not there. So it locks the door, it turns off the lights, and we can we can know when we go out that you know the house is safe. We don't have to worry about whether or not the garage door is closed, or we don't have to worry about whether or not the door is locked. We, it, it happens automatically. Automations, right? Um, you know, I, I really enjoy these particular automations. So, how do you use a location-based automation? Let us know in the comments down below. If you have any questions about any of these automations, you can also leave them there, and we will get back to you if we can help. You can also find us on social media at My Home Kit Home, and you can also check out the blog over at MyHomeKitHome.com. Well, that about wraps it up for today. Until next time, this has been Dusty with My Home Kit Home. This has been Dustin with my home kit home.